Has anybody ever seen these before? Yeah, these actually exist. Cartoon Network did have its own magazine line. So very similar to Nick Magazine or even the likes of Nintendo Power, Cartoon Network had their own long-running magazine. I bet none of you guys know that these existed. Even I didn't know that they existed until about maybe five or six years ago. What's interesting to note is, while I might not have every copy of the magazine here, I do have miscellaneous copies that go all the way up to even issue 99. I'm not sure how much farther than that it went, but as I'm continuing to collect them, it's very interesting to see where these were in their own periods of time and even in their own countries, because not every issue that I have in here is from the same country. In fact, this one here, which is issue number one, this is, I think, probably one of the only ones I have that was actually released in the U.S. Almost every other issue I have was released in either some type of Latin America country or in the U.K. We're not going to go through every issue here, um, but I did want to kind of flip through at least a majority of them and kind of give you guys like an example of kind of what these do in here. Like for example here, who sent this in? My favorite nicknames for Superman. We found this article taped to our office door, our desks, our computers, and on the bathroom door, along, along with some um, pretty good reasons to print it. No, we don't want that to happen to our dogs. We're not sure who sent it in, but we think we better print it. Though we wouldn't want to be in his shoes, whoever it is, when Superman reads it. Super fool, stupid man, pooper man, Clark get bent. Clark get bent. Wonder Woman, crypto bite me. Kalel, pfft, nice name. Man of Steel, Magnolias, the Daily Kramit, Lois. I can't believe it says Clark get bent in here. That's kind of crazy. And then this, for example. Redheads rule. We here at Cartoon Network Magazine have heard that a certain pint-sized scientist is considering formulating a shampoo that would actually change his hair color. Thanks, M, for that handy info. We got to wondering just what Dexter would look like without his standard red locks. Would we recognize him? Smart shoe salesman Norwegian orthodontist. Yeah, we prefer he kept his hair just the way that it is. Interesting. Yeah, these magazines have uh, lots of cool stuff in them. You know, like they got plenty of games here, like Did You Knows about characters. Um, like this Ed, Ed, and Eddie here. Eddie is into pranks. Ed's parents communicate to him through solely post-it notes. And then Ed is into B monster movies and model kits. This looks like a poster. Yeah, look at this. Bad Boys. This looks like it could be a t-shirt. Oh, it's a double-sided one. Look at that. In tune. Very cool. Ask Mojo Jojo. Oh, look at this. A print ad for Cartoon Cartoon Fridays. See? These are some, uh, some cool stuff. Who... Who would win? We stack them up and sort them out. You guys remember when they had the whole Superman versus Batman event thing? I believe that was on Kids WB. Look at this. Ed Ed Nettie versus Blink 182. Jawbreaker schemers meet the enemas of the state. How wild. And Ed Ed Nettie won. That's kind of crazy. Uh, look inside the Jetsons. Look at this. Toonami all about anime. Wild hair colors. Re so, th I remember reading this earlier. This predicted the future. This issue came out. Um, I, d I don't know if it says, but this came out a long time ago. Way before Dragon Ball Super. Way before Battle of Gods. And read this. Wild hair colors. Red, blue, you name it. Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, or Super Saiyan Blue. Hair color is sometimes used to separate aliens and monsters from normal people. But, depending on the artist, odd hair colors can be used just because they look good. Lots of stuff here. Anime homework. This is a, look at this, Toonami ad. Very nice. 
this is this is like a oh this is supposed to be like a college um or not like a high school uh yearbook but like for the cartoon network characters like uh eddie here nicknames crash lockjaw club award activities class clown orthodontics home study course party crasher barry white at admiration of society most likely to offend and his quote is booger There's another tsunami. This probably is like a poster. It's probably supposed to go hand in hand with this page. This page is probably supposed to come out and it's a poster for tsunami. Um, the answer's revealed. Lots of interesting things in here, guys. What is this? Super cow and cow? Oh, it's a Spanish lesson. How cool is that? I bet, and this is just, guys, this is just one issue. I'm telling you, I have issues that span up to 99. Look, we've got a comic in here. Look, the Scooby Gang crossed over with the Powerpuff Girls. Look at this. Hold on, does it... Yeah, it's, it's from all the way back here. Pickle Party. They teamed up with the Powerpuff Girls. That is wild. Space Ghost Plugorama. So these are additional interviews from like on Space Ghost Coast to Coast, but for like the Justice League, Samurai Jack, etc. That's kind of cool. That's just the first issue. Now, here's some of the others. Like I said, here's one completely in Spanish. This is um, issue number 22. That, that other one we did was issue one. I'm just going to kind of zoom through this one because it is not in English. Um, but just to kind of give you guys a glimpse of kind of what's in this. It's kind of more of the same, you know, comics here and there. Look at these, though. These are, um, like, drawings that fans sent in. Look at some of these. There's some that are cool, and then there's some that are like, Marvin the Martian, what happened to you? You're buff as heck, and you got a gun? Like, oh my gosh, this is in a kid's magazine? Um, look at Wile E. Coyote there, dressed as like bugs. What is this? Tasmanian Devil, and he's like a robot? Yeah, these are, these are definitely a crazy read here. Then we got this is this is all this one's in English. This is issue twenty eight. Look, we got uh, Pokemon the first movie coming out on VHS, I believe. Yeah, on video and DVD. Yep. Then this is a uh, fantastic Powerpuff Girls game from Drummond Park. Ah, it's like a board game. Again, we're just going to kind of race through this. I don't want I, I don't want this video to be too too long. I do plan on doing a video on these in the future way more in depth. Um, I want to do a video on these very much akin to the style of video that AVGN, Angry Video Game Nerd, look at that, that's cool, released for the Nintendo Power magazines. I think that that would be pretty cool. Look at these drawings. Fairly cool here. More of the same. Yeah, like I said, there is a lot of these issues. This is issue 34, again in Spanish. Just gonna kind of browse through that there. Look at some of this stuff, super, super cool. Mostly a lot of comics as they go on, but uh, still lots of games and all sorts of cool stuff in there. Some of these I haven't even gone through yet. Like, I don't believe this one I've gone through. The live-action Scooby-Doo issue here. Again, all in Spanish. Scooby-Doo Monster Tour. Here's Shin-Chan, Yu-Gi-Oh! Attack and the Power of Juju.
Network.es. Yeah. Very cool, very cool. Here is a, another Spanish issue, but this one is an Eda Netty focused, it seems. Look at that boomerang. Yogi Bear there. Lots of cool stuff here. Johnny Bravo centered issue here. Look at this one's uh, in English again. You guys remember but, uh, but, but Ugly Martians? But Ugly Martians, yeah. More comic, comic, comic. Uh, creator profile. Oh, this looks like a uh, interview for our, the career of I Am Weasel. It's kind of cool. What is this here? What's oh, like a Did You Know? Ooh. Look at this. Cartoon Network presents Cartoon Network Road. Huh. It's like a concert. Here's some more drawings. I love looking at these. Dude, Goku's like upper body is huge. Ew, look at this. Ed and Eddie Celebrity Boogers. Stay back, Willow. This one's mine. Yucky the Vampire Slayer. I don't get it. Is it supposed to be like a Buffy the Vampire Slayer parody? I'm not sure. See, this one I don't have. Looks like the next issue. Yeah, see, cartoonnetwork.co.uk. This, this, the couple of these that are not from the U.S. are from either the, Span the Spanish country or the UK. This is a Halloween issue, by the way. Edición Especial de Halloween. Lots of cool stuff in there. Yeah, man, and they just keep going and going and going. Here's another Edda and Eddie-centered one. What does that say? The number one magazine for tunes. This is issue... This is issue 64. So as you guys see, it just keeps going and going and going. There's so many issues. Look at these Ed Ed and Eddie comics here. Dexter Future Scope. Lots of different games here. Look at that. Dragon Ball Z Legacy of Goku 2. They got video games in here. Competition. More comic books. Here's like a calendar. Look at this Ed Ed and Eddie calendar. Apparently, Sunday, the 10th of, what month is this, August, is Spoil Your Goat Day. Rolf's Potato Hargus on the 6th. Number 65 on sale today. That's probably the next issue. And then a bank holiday on the 25th. Look at this down here. Dragon Ball Z on Toonami. Dragon Ball Z Sunday Marathon. Sunday 2nd, 10th, 24th, and 31st. Get ready for a stampede of Dragon Ball Z episodes on Toonami this August as we relive some of the greatest battles and adventures back-to-back -back episodes. Super cool. That's that issue. They just keep going. More comics here. This is issue, by the way, issue 73. Got some Shaolin Showdown stuff going here. Look at this little Ed Ed Netty poster here. More drawings here. Oh, what is this, Justice League? Oh, it's advertising the DVDs. Cool, cool. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, like I said, I have so many more of these. We'll go through just a couple more. But like I said, I do plan on kind of making a more in-depth video on these in the future. Look at this, Toonami Highlights, UK premiere of Dragon Ball, uh, UK premiere of Megas XLR, and Star Wars The Clone Wars. That's very nice, very cool. Brand new series, Johnny Bravo. Huh. So, they, so a new series is titled, like... 
or a new season is almost titled like a new series. That's interesting. That's an interesting take. Here's another issue here. It says you can get for free if you subscribe or whatever. Here's a Mucha Lucha issue. Monster Jam, Toonami. We might we might br browse through all of these. I don't know. Look at that. That that monk or that um, Omu. That's his name, right? Right? Or, oh, no, Omi. Omi. That's his name. That's cool. Top Secret Report. Pick a tune. Cartoon Network networked. Boomerang. Highlights for Toonami. Text Toonami. Text in your comments about Toonami every weekday afternoon this January to see them appear live on air. Super cool. Super, super cool there. This is issue 87. So like I said, it, it gets up there, y'all. It really, really, really gets up there. And like I said, I'm really kind of skipping a lot of pages here. Ooh, Mario Party 6. Look at that. Advertising you can control stuff with the mic. That was very revolutionary at the time. Even though really the N64 had a lot of that stuff too. There's some more drawings here. Very nice, very cool. Pick a tune. Star Wars the Clone Wars advert again. This is issue 90. We're getting there. Look at that Dragon Ball Z thing there. It's cool. More Ed and Eddie comics. Star Wars The Clone Wars DVD advert. Pokemon Advanced. Video games. Magazines. Look at this here. More drawings. Super, super cool there. We're not done yet. We got, uh, looks like, four left. This is issue 91. The immediate issue following the one we just looked at. Look at this. Everyone switched hairs. He's got Johnny's hair. He's got... Uh, that's not even... Uh, yeah, I guess that's Dexter's hair. Even though it looks like Dexter's mom's hair. Mandy's hair on number four. She got number four's hair. He has Shaggy's hair. He has Eddie's hair. Oh, and Ed has Daphne. That's funny. Donkey Konga. Dragon Ball Advanced Adventure. More comics here. Look, he's got a shirt that says the Powerpuff Girls. Here's more drawings here. I like these. I like seeing these fan drawings. Look at this. Here's a Cartoon Network City advert here. Where cartoons live. Yep. Tsunami adverts here. Pet alien. This is issue 92. So, so far we've looked at 90, 91, and 92. We'll kind of hurry this up a bit. Year of the Bats. That's kind of cool. For Batman Begins. Y'all remember when that came out? Look at this poster here. You can get a Foster's Home. Here's some more drawings here. Very, very cool. More comics here. Justice League Unlimited Toonami advert. Soul Surge Toe Ticklers. What kind of shoes do frogs wear? Open-toed sandals. What do you call Fren a Frenchman wearing sandals? Felipe Felipe. 
Philippe Philop. I don't know. I don't know. Here is some Shaolin Showdown and the Batman adverts. It's kind of cool. Madagascar. Very, very cool. This is issue 95. And then after this, there's one more. Static Shock Toonami advert. Very nice. Kids Next Door comic. Johnny Bravo comics. Transformers Cybertron. More drawings here. Look at this. How cool is this? You got Courage, Dexter's Lab, Ed, Ed, Nettie, right next to Dragon Ball Z. You don't get to see that very often. And then look at that. Toonami, the Batman. Final issue that I have here is issue 99. Hell's Kitchen. Yeah, see, look, new look. They kind of redesigned the one here. Look at, ooh, look at Mojo and Santa's outfit. When did this come out? This came out December 14th, 2005. Very, very cool here. Narnia. Ah, right, here we go. Ed, Ed, Nettie Misadventures here. Competition to beat the game. One lucky winner will get their hands on a PS2 copy of the game, an exclusive Cartoon Network goodie bag, while four runners up each get a copy of the game and a goodie bag. Look at that goodie bag. It's kind of cool. Interesting PS2 design there. This is Lights, Camera, Pants, SpongeBob. Operation Video Game, we're playing that on stream. Games Arcade. Eddie's Honest Ish Guide to Making Money. Oh, how cool is this? That's so cool. Look at this Camp Laszlo poster here. More Johnny Bravo comics. Up for grabs. Looks like some kind of giveaway. More games here. Ed and Eddie comic. These are for other issues. This looks like... Let me see what issues these are. 98. It doesn't even say what issue that one is. 97 and 96. So we have 99. So it looks like they changed the look a little bit ago. Here's some more fan drawings here. They've kept the fan drawing thing for a while. Tsunami ad there. Ho ho ho, Mojo Jojo. Looks like it's advertising a Cartoon Network game. And that's it. Oh, and we're ending it with a cool Ed and Nettie Miss Adventures advert there. Yeah, did you guys know that the Cartoon Network magazine existed? It's pretty cool, right? Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think of this. And like always, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.